for veteran service grave markers. Budget committee voted 071, not recommending this warrant article. Does anyone wish to speak on this warrant article? Yes, Representative Edgar. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, yes, I would like to speak on this. Uh, I'm associated with the American Legion. I'm the junior vice commander. It's nice to be called junior at this age. Um, and uh, we have done a, a review. Basically, it was the, the Historical Society. Uh, Candace uh, Stelmack had done a review of the veterans in the, in the cemetery. And, and we found that there was an awful lot of the, uh, the veterans there don't have markers. So we are trying to catch up. We know it was a big jump when we were talking to the town about it. So uh, that's why we're, trying, we're going before the town to uh, see if we can get that uh, down of our veterans. And I would hope that we get some support for that. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else wish to speak on this Warren article? Mr. Keith Lasad, welcome back. Thank you. I don't know how we can't support this. I think that our markers are they can't speak for themselves, but this is a good way for people to recognize those that have fallen or have served in our armed forces to defend our country and my right to speak right now. And I wish you will reconsider it and support this Warren article. Thank you. Thank you, Keith. Anyone else wish to speak on this Warren article? The famous Mr. Rusty Bridle. Again, Russ Bridle, 225 Toll Farm Road. I have a number of veterans from my family that are in that cemetery. They gave their lives for this country. They gave their lives to this town. Maybe they didn't die in the line of duty, but they still serve their country. And I think we need to honor them with doing this. It's not a lot of money, and we need to honor our veterans. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else wish to speak on this Warren article? Seeing none, 